And we're learning new details about the Jussie Smollett case. Police in Chicago now releasing hundreds of new documents. Meanwhile, a retired judge who wants a special prosecutor to investigate why the charges were dropped anyway heads back to court moments from now. Ellison Barber's at court to give us a preview of what's happening there where the judge will appear. Ellison, what do you have? Hey, Bill, if you look behind me right here, you can see in the yellow jacket, that is the retired judge, uh, Sheila O'Brien, walking into court here right now. Uh, some court documents have been unsealed, but that retired judge, Judge O'Brien, she says it is not enough. Sheila O'Brien wants a special counsel to look into the dismissal of uh, charges related to Jesse Smollett's alleged staging of a hate crime. She wanted a judge from outside of the county to make the decision, and she wanted Cook County's state's attorney, Kim Fox to testify. A judge previously said no to those requests. Here's uh, Judge O'Brien speaking last week. The handling of the Jesse Smollett case by this state's attorney has been a disaster. I hope that the law is obeyed and the law of appointing a special prosecutor has not been obeyed. Interestingly, if you look at that law, it says the court on the court's own motion can do this. The court can do this on their own motion. Earlier I said special counsel, I meant special prosecutor, which you heard her say there. But the push for a special prosecutor and the latest release of police documents, all of it adding more twists and turns in a case that was never straightforward. Now it seems Chicago police knew Cook County prosecutors were working on a deal with Smollett weeks before Smollett's charges were officially dropped. In the nearly 500 pages of official documents released by the Chicago Police Department yesterday, it says after a grand jury indicted Smollett, a Cook County prosecutor told detectives, and I'm quoting here, she felt the case would be settled with Smollett paying the city of Chicago $10,000 in restitution and doing community service. That is what happened. The police superintendent and then Mayor Rahm Emanuel were outraged about that. A spokesperson for the Chicago Police Department told Fox News this, quote, the detectives were not aware that the case was going to be handled in the manner that it was, pointing out, quote, the detective writes that the case will be closed through arrest and prosecution. An official with the Chicago Police Department tells me that prosecutors indicated to detectives that uh, Smollett would pay restitution and do community service in exchange for some sort of admission of guilt. That did not happen. That official says that detectives were under the impression that the charges would still be prosecuted, not dropped. Jesse Smollett, of course, said he was innocent then, and he maintains he is innocent today. Thank you, Ellison. Ellison, Barbara Cook County Courthouse there. Thank you.